love collective welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always please remember to like comment and share the youtube channel thank you for supporting you are appreciated i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your families as always please remember to stay in the purest of white light okay Whatever the enemy stole from you is being returned to you immediately as we speak. Any evil plans, evil intentions of your enemies against you and your loved ones are being dismantled as we speak. As, as I have said, so shall it be, darlings. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here. So you best believe there is absolutely some type of effort being made to cause some type of illusion about someone presenting you with an offer. Someone could be advocating for you behind the scenes because they have gone within to find out the truth or they have been guided to find out the truth to see the truth about a situation. But this person knows now that a lot of illusions have been going on to prevent them from presenting you with this opportunity People know that you deserve this opportunity, but there is some type of catch here why people don't want you receiving some type of offer or opportunity from another character or another energy. There's a lot of mental games, manipulations. You're supposed to have some type of new beginning with someone, but there is a whole lot going on behind the scenes to make this new beginning absolutely difficult and challenging. They want this person to believe that you are the wrong choice. And if they give you this opportunity that you were, that they made the wrong choice, the, the wrong decision by choosing you, they want this opportunity or whatever this is to go to someone else that does not even deserve it. Whoever they want this person is to receive it does not know anything about what's going on. Or this could be someone that's in their lower vibrational energy. So if you have, let's say, a high priestess of the light and a high priestess of the dark, this community or this group, this couple, whatever it is, wants this offer to go to the high priestess of the dark. And that's because they can control this high priestess. She does not vibrate from her higher from a higher frequency. So it's easier to control her because there's money, there's finances attached to it. And this is how a lot of high priestesses operate the moment you show them money oh honey they have a whole lot of a whole lot to say to you and about anyone you ask about whether it's true not true they don't care you have money money talk bs walk okay but you are clearly the choice for this opportunity uh, collective and the most high may have revealed this to whoever has this for you or whoever you're supposed to be partnering up with they went within and they may have sought some type of higher wisdom from someone outside of this group so they know the truth. Someone is choosing to take a different path. It's like they've been guided to take a path that they know is not beneficial for them. It's only going to lead them down a path that is absolutely catastrophic. So they know they've gone within. They're taking the risk. They're going to choose you. They're going to give you this opportunity because they know they have clarity from the universe to do so. They know that you are the truth, you are pure, you are genuine, you are guided by source and protected by source. Source, it is definitely between you and some dark character. There could also be some type of collaborative effort by either either a cold coping or some type of toxic mentality amongst a group of people. And this is all because of greed, okay? These people live some type of superficial lifestyle that they are accustomed to. There is absolutely a lot of money on the line, a lot of abundance on the line, and they don't want you receiving whatever it is you're supposed to receive because that's going to put a halt on everything for them. Lord have mercy. We have to always, on this platform, on this channel, give the karmics an A for effort. And when it comes to execution, let's not talk about that because we don't want to disappoint these karmics. <laughs> we just want to let them know they got an A for effort. There is a reason why when these karmics come to star seeds, light beams, and they huff and they puff, and they say, we're going to blow your house down, and we just look at them like, <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, sure, 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 sure. Thank you. Because why, Cersei's? 
Life ends, why do we yawn and go back to sleep? Like you're facing this way, they tell you that you just roll over to the other side and go back to sleep. Why do we do that? That's because we know a source is gonna give us another one. We're like DJ Kelly up in this B-I-T-C-H. It's like, ah, oh, another one, thank you. You take it, source is gonna give me a better one. Thank you, much love, much blessings. Thank you, okay? Source decided that I need, needed something better. Mm, thank you. So, you know, when they come to us and they say, we're going to blow your house down. We're going to take your car. We're going to take your home. We're going to uh, uh, tell your husband that you did this and you, they're going to cheat on you. They're going to leave you. Like, oh, thank you. You know, this man has been driving me nuts and I've been trying to get rid of him for years. And you're here telling me <clears throat> that you can accomplish this mission of mine that I have been trying to accomplish for eons. Oh, bless your hearts. Bless you. Bless you. May you be successful in this mission of yours to separate me from this foolish man, right? <laughs> and you're looking at him like, oh my gosh. You're trying to tell me that you're really trying to help me? Because sometimes these karmics don't realize when they come to steal from you, they're actually helping you in some way. They say, oh, bless your heart. You thought you were destroying me. Bless your heart. Isn't that what the people from the South say to the rest of us when, when they know we're not getting what they're talking about or they think we're mentally, you know, challenged? Bless your heart. Oh, bless their hearts, right? What do they do? Look at you and look away or look down and say, bless your heart, right? Yeah, absolutely, honey. They're in fear. They know they can't do anything to you. All they can do is try to disturb your peace. But your peace is not disturbed. You already know what's going on. These people are desperate. Are, are desperate. <clears throat> okay? This is all it is at this point. Someone or a group of people, they know they've lost some type of battle. But they are desperate and pathetic as heck. So they're going to keep going. They're going to keep doing little things behind the scenes to disturb your peace. Because they want you to feel uncomfortable. They want you to feel like they're winning. But if you're a star seed, again, honey, let them huff and puff. Let them tell you they're going to blow your house down. My dear, you'll get another house. Or the universe is just receiving entertainment at this point. They said, oh, thank you. You know, I was getting bored with Mark and Shaniqua over there. Their, their nonsense they have going on It's not entertaining me anymore. So you all can entertain me. And the most high sits back and watch these clowns just go on and on and on doing the same thing, coming up with new tricks. And the most high is just like, oh my Lord, did I really create these? Do I really want to clean these beings anymore? Because who? I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. Someone received guidance from the universe. They said, hey. All of these people around you, yeah, 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 yeah. You need to let them go. They're not seeing anything worth a substance around you. There's ulterior motive. They're trying to steal from you, okay? They're afraid that you're going to find the truth out. They may know that you know the truth already, and they're trying to hide it from you, right? They're playing on your emotions and all kinds of stuff, right? Have mercy, Lord. Our enemies are being exposed. They don't know they're exposing themselves. Someone is trying to hide something about a character here, a feminine energy that you're trying to push on someone. I'm getting that for someone's specific story. There's a masculine, there's a dark energy they're trying to push on you. They want you to partner up with this woman. You better not. I think you know. Yeah, they want her to, they want you to think that she's this, that she's abundant. She's nurturing, she's giving, she's caring, she's a social light. She has this abundant social life going on. This woman is not, okay? She is not. She does not have no social life going on. You may be talking to someone that's part of some type of collaboration, right? With a group to keep you stuck. Keep you stuck, okay? So you better be careful who you partner up with. You don't have to go to whoever they're trying to block you from going towards, but you best be careful who it is you're partnering up with. Anyone these people are suggesting that you partner up with, it's a no, okay? It's a no. Whoever you have your eyes on, maybe go that direction, okay? But if it's anyone from this group, anyone suggests anyone to you from this group or anyone at all, 
don't do it my brother it is a setup they want you to take some type of impulsive action and partner up with a Jizzy Bell energy. Some of you, this has to do with some type of dark priestess. Be mindful. Be mindful. I'm telling you, it's going to trap you. You're going to be stuck. Your finances will be depleted. You've been guided to go within and see the truth about the matter. I'm telling you, this person is not genuine. <laughs> This is not someone genuine. This is not someone genuine. This is someone that's coming in to play with your emotions. This feminine energy that they want you to partner up with, coming to play in with your emotions. Someone is already in some type of relationship behind the scenes. Okay? She could be in a relationship with one of your friends. That's what I just heard. And this being exposed to you now is your justice so you don't F up and get in partnerships with this woman or whoever. Run, 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 run as fast as you can, sir. Now, you all know I like to use this movie line here from Shrek. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. You're a monster. I'm the monster. I'm not the monster here. You are. You and the rest of those fairy tale trash poisoning my perfect kingdom. Honey, this woman is coming in to poison your kingdom. Okay? Shrek is one of my, like, the whole Shrek series. I love watching Shrek. Matilda, Matilda and Shrek, Lord, I can watch those over and over, okay? But you're, you being made aware of this information, this is your justice, this is your victory. Listen, you see that right there? Victory, victory. I'm telling you, the truth is being exposed to you about whoever this is. They're trying to pair you up with whatever message, whatever, whatever communication this woman or person is sending you is your justice. You are trying to send some type of communication to someone else. It didn't go through because someone is interfering with it. And that's because they want someone else to come in, a Jesse Bell energy or some type of fake person to come in and interfere. They want you to fall in love with either an ex or some woman you have no business partnering up with because this is what's going to happen this is your intention is to steal steal from you block you these people could be still could have been stealing from you for years sir for years you should never get in a partnership because that's what someone else told you that you should do it's a no-no okay it's a no-no you should never get in a partnership because that's what your family told you to do because that's what your friends told you to do you always need to have a mind of your own to decide your path this is your path. We need to learn to start relying on our own energy, living in our own energy. No one should be able to come in and tell us, hey, I don't think you should date her. She seems like she's problematic. It seems that she's going to bring you a lot of drama. Meanwhile, the person they're telling you about is genuine as can be. This is someone that's going to be there supporting you, protecting you from nonsense, dark energy, and things like that. And the person that's telling you not to date them basically is the witch that's blocking your future, trying to block your future. Just the, the <laughs> they're trying to tell you that whoever you're going towards is them and that person, and they are that person, right? So someone, this is like a dark energy and a light energy. The dark energy is pretending to be the light energy, and they want you to see the light energy as the dark energy. It's a mind game. I'm seeing, you see here? It's manipulation. They're gaslighting. They're playing with your mind. They don't want you to see straight. They want it, They also want you to think that you partnering up with someone else is not going to last. It's not worthy. Like this person you're going to go partner up with plays with people's emotions. They're not genuine. They pretend to like people. They pretend to love people. It's a freaking lie. This is the person that's next to you telling you all of this nonsense. Something is going to be exposed to you about these people or it's been exposed to you. <clears throat> It's been exposed to you. So it's up to you. I'm telling you, it's been exposed to you. So you could be standing your ground against these people. There could be something legal coming out of a situation for some of you. Right. You, honey, I know I just want the six. Move on, my brother. Move on. You need to move on. Sail on to calmer waters. Leave these people behind you. Right. And move on. I'm telling you, leave these people behind you. There is absolutely ulterior motives, and they know that you know, and this 
person that you are are watching because I get a sense that you all know who this is that you want to go to. You're watching them. They're watching them. This person knows that all of you are watching him or her. Okay? This person is showing up as someone gifted. So they know that everybody is watching. Okay? Listen, did we just see the high priestess? Thank you. They know. They know. They know. Someone wants to come in and gaslight a feminine energy as well to interfere with karma. They say, hey, <laughs> I know I betrayed our friendship or I know I, I betrayed our soul contract as soul twins. But, you know, I've learned my lesson. The karmics have betrayed me and now I feel betrayed. And I was hoping we could work things out. And you're looking at them like, uh, yeah, I don't think so. You chose those karmics over me. So you go back to your karmics. Okay, someone is planning something. You better be careful. Someone has ulterior motives, I'm telling you. And these people, the reason why they're doing all of this, I was going to say money. I'm telling you, it's all about money. They're trying to interfere with karma going in someone's favor, but it absolutely will. They want to trap someone. They want to bring legal issues to either you, the feminine energy, or whoever you're trying to go work with. They don't want this person receiving anything. Something was done disingenuously. It was not based on principle. It was maliciousness. Oh, would you look at that? I said the word today without difficulty. Maliciousness. Oh, once spirit do it, spirit is working even on me. Me, the menace to society. Spirit is working on me. Thank you, spirit. I love you. Anyways. There is some type of effort to bring legal issues to someone so they can trap them and prevent them from receiving some type of elevation in life. They want to block this person's work. That's why this is here. They want someone to keep putting in effort but never seeing the benefit. Some people took action in the past to block someone's work. They don't want something either going public. They don't want something going viral or if you're on social media. There are efforts being put, used or uh, being put into some something to block someone forward's movement. They don't want you to reap the harvest of your labor. Okay, honey, and it is not your destiny. Please, collective, if you are the one going through this, do not lose hope. Do not lose your momentum. Keep pushing forward. This is all part of your educational purposes. I didn't know how else to put that. But everything these people are doing is meant for your elevation. The most high have it set up for like this for a specific reason. People that tend to go through the worst experiences always end up with the best story to tell. And you best believe we're going to be watching when your story is on the news. When you are famous one day, we'll be sitting back and saying, yep, we knew it. We knew you were going to succeed. So whatever hard time you're going through, whatever tumultuous times you're going through right now because of what other people are doing behind the scenes but trying to hide and act like they have nothing to do with it. Like, oh, my hands are tied. I can't do anything. I didn't do anything. I was not involved. You know, like Pontius Pilate that decided to wash his hands from the uh, 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 crucifixion of Jesus Christ, even though he knew that's not how that works. Yeah, because he wanted to stay clean of it. Yeah, that's not how that works. Anyways, yeah, all of these people are going to sit back and watch you elevate in life. Look it up. Gosh darn it. We did everything to this person. We did everything. We don't in we interfere with their love life. We broke their family up. We took their house. We took their car. We took everything from this person. And you're trying to tell me they're still elevating. They're still doing better than me in life. And they still went on to do better than me. You have got to be kidding me. What am I doing with my life? Nothing useful. Wasting your time. I'm telling you, wasting your time. This is you all, by the way, Karmics. We know you all be watching us when we're talking, when we're making these videos, these reads, because this is how you all try to keep up with what's going on in the spirit realm because terror readers are the news casters, right? We are the news reporters of the spirit realm. We bring the tea to the general population. When you turn on your YouTube screen, I'm a news reporter, everybody, of the spirit realm. How you doing? In today's news, we have the karmics that are still at it, coming after our beautiful star seas, and they are destined to fail.
Okay, we have the karmics destined to go to jail, destined to be trapped in their head, destined to be living in a uh, deplority. Why our star seeds are elevating? Okay, let's continue with this new station. What are we going to call this new station? Ascended definition priestess for the ascendus. Oh, I love it. Welcome, people. Welcome. This tower is still showing up, my people. If you're a karmic watching and you're part of this group of people that are planning to destroy other people, <clears throat> it's not looking good. It's not looking good. You better not. Mm -mm. You better. You might want to take a dip. I'm telling you, this tower don't want to leave this bottom. You might want to take a new path to find some new friends to form alliances with and things like that. <laughs> Any plans you have, this is here, it's not going to be working. You will not be stealing from any star seeds, especially something they've worked hard to build. The universe is not going to be permitting it. You're going to be meeting your end, right? You're going to be falling flat on your face like that ten of swords I just saw, honey. It's not going according to plan. We want to take time. We want to take this moment to thank our hidden helpers in hidden places. We don't know you all, but we thank you for helping us okay for allowing us to be ourselves you all understand the assignment thank you may god may the holy spirit may, may the source forever bless you and your lineages for helping us in silence mm -hmm. thank you you are loved you are appreciated and eh? what else can we do we have our enemies trying to cause us illusions just trying to end us, trying to bring us legal issues. Listen, I was about to say a couple. Anyway, there are people trying to bring, or they were trying to bring legal issues to someone, but they're the ones facing legal issues now. It's like these people have so much going on, they can't even come to you with problems. Their problems are too big. Like I, they, I think I did a read like two or three reads ago when I said they have bigger fish to fry. Yeah, their fish is just laying there rotting now. I said, huh, I've been here this whole time. You've been ignoring me. Instead of focusing on me, you've been focusing on their star seed that's not paying you any mind. If you would have taken care of me from the from way back then, we wouldn't be here. Now it's too late. What do we do? What do we do? Meanwhile, they're trying to tell us in a huff, in a puff, and a blow your house down with what breath? You don't even have breath anymore to blow. You're all out of breath because you're too exhausted from trying to destroy someone else's life. Your ego is getting the best of you. You don't want to see someone happy and abundant. You think it's your mission to interfere with someone else's life, but they're still moving forward. Someone is still taking charge of their life. Say, hey, yeah, I'm out of here. I'm going to keep going. You do what you want. You can stay in that energy if you want to. But I am out of here. Okay? You don't direct my path. I am in charge of my own destiny. The Most High has granted me that privilege that right to direct my own path because I have done the work to heal. Starcy, we are proud of you. Let's give you a hand of applause. Okay, that was, what kind of hand of applause was that? That was like that end. Yes, Starseeds. We are celebrating you. We are celebrating you, okay? Thank you for putting in all of that work. Thank you for not spending your time focusing on destroying other people's lives. Instead, you're focusing on your bounty. Yeah, honey. Ah, you're, the people that were coming after you, yeah, they're being betrayed now by the very people they were working with. There could have been a couple that was trying to bring problems to someone, and they're facing their own problems now. They're going through legal issues. Something has been presented to this couple. Is that, hey, come here. Come, 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 come. You give us this document and you said this person did this. But it looks like this person hasn't been in contact with you for umpteenth years, umpteenth months, umpteenth weeks. The dates are not matching. We need explanation. It's crickets, collective. It's crickets. 
they don't have any explanation meanwhile you have bounty coming in celebration some of you may be getting married this year congratulations okay congratulations for connecting with your soul twin you know living this abundant life that you worked really hard for congratulations ahead of time my darlings meanwhile our enemies mm, that's a whole different story that is a whole different story listen these people have been living under an illusion <laughs> they thought they were going to come in take some type of action and say hey you did this to me i'm a big job butter you know that's not they don't say but they said the other stuff i'm gonna beat your ass up and you're looking like i wish a mother ever would put their hands on me i'm just waiting for you to just touch just just tap i just want you to tap 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 because you know collective we don't pay fights <laughs> we don't pay fights but we sure finish them i said collective and our in our star seat is at the bottom yeah, we look real naive, innocent, and you know, just blase, blase. We look like we live in la-la land. Just, you know, easy to push around. And then you come and touch us and you're like, oh, okay. I really after messing with this one. But you best believe someone wants to come in and pick some type of fight with you so that you can end up in jail or end up in some type of legal problems and it's not going to happen. It's an illusion. It's not happening. Instead of you facing some legal issues and stuff like that, you have a lot of opportunities coming your way. You're about to have so many opportunities in life, you won't even know which one to pick. But be careful with with which one you pick because there are there are like a, 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 a what do I want to say? You know how famous people? Yeah, it's nice being famous, but there are things that come with being famous that they don't like, right? I forget what their term is, but be careful. There's a catch, right? Be careful. Yeah, it's sorrows. They were laughing, but they're not laughing anymore. It looks like it's sorrows. They've lost a lot of money, a lot of connections, and now they're having to juggle. Am I going to pay my bills today or eat today? Collective, this is the energy a lot of them had you in. You didn't know, should I pay my bills or eat? Eat, pay my bills. Should I pay the light bill, pay the gas bill? Should I... Honey, you're, you switch sides with these people. This is what's ahead of them if they're not going through this already. And they're trying to find a way to block it. But the way they're trying to block it is through maliciousness. They're still being malicious out here. They haven't learned a lesson from nothing. Okay? They haven't learned a freaking lesson. They're going to keep being nar uh, narcissists. They're going to keep stealing. They're going to keep picking fights where they should not be picking fights. They're going to keep competing where they don't where they don't compare for resources that do not belong to them. And it's a whole evolution because they're not getting a goddamn thing from source that belongs to you. And if they did, it's been straight. They said, hey, <laughs> we were just playing with you. We were trying to see if you're going to do the right thing and give this person what belongs to them. That's why we even allowed you to become aware of it. But obviously, you haven't healed yet. You haven't learned your lesson. We're going to need that back and yours. So not only are they losing what belongs to you, Collective, they're losing what was theirs in the first place. Ooh, source don't play. So it's just that we are taking everything back. What belongs to the star sea and what you had before you stole what belonged to the star sea. We need you to learn this lesson. You have not learned this lesson. You may be coming back a few more lifetimes to work up this karma that you have accumulated in this lifetime for coming after the wrong ones. The karmics are fighting. They know they cannot keep what's yours. What's yours is coming to you. Whether it's a partnership, whether it's love, whether it's business. Whatever it is, it's coming to you. And the karmics are fighting. They're going to keep fighting. They're competing with one another. Like, no, this opportunity belongs to me. Is that you don't get to have that opportunity because you haven't done the work to have that opportunity. Listen, why am I struggling with my cars? You all know I, I struggle with these cars, shoveling them on this channel. I feel like... Someday, if my, when my not if when my page goes viral, people are going to like come up with some type of hashtag <laughs> about me not being able, or just some type of phrase about me not being able to shuffle my cars because this is something I struggle with every freaking video. 
it's ridiculous. But anyways, what's yours is being returned to you, collective? Someone that didn't know how gifted you were, how blessed you were, how favored you were by the Most High. And they felt comfortable. Someone stole from you before. They thought they got away with it. So they got even more comfortable. And they said, well, we did it before. We can do it again. They thought they were, it was a miracle. They thought they had gotten away with it. They thought they had won over God. God said, no, I already knew what you did before. And I've just been waiting for you because I knew you were going to do it again. This is my matrix. I know what you're going to do before you do it. Okay? You stole from this person before. I let you kind of, kind of get away with it. Hoping, hoping that you would learn your lesson. But apparently you didn't learn your lesson. Instead of learning your lesson, you 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 develop some big balls. You said, oh, the big balls. And I <laughs> said, I'm going to go for it again. Yes, I succeeded before. I'm going to go for it again. And the source said, oh, okay. Okay. Let's see how brave you are this time. You think you're going to succeed. Hmm. Yeah. The karmas have a new plan. They always have a new plan. One fails and they come up with another. Will this plan succeed? In our next broadcast, we will find out if the karmics are going to succeed in defeating the, the, the star seed who is favored by the most high. That should let us know already. It's going to be a want, want, want. It's not going to be succeeding. <laughs> are you surprised, Darcy's Collective? Are you surprised? No. Not at all. I'm telling you. The most high is already ahead of these people. They say, yeah, we already know what's going to be happening to you. And we think you have a hint of how this is going to go. But you're so much of a narcissist and so desperate to destroy someone else's life that you think you're going to win, but you're not going to win because divine intervention is already here before you even take action to do the next thing. Okay, you may want to halt. You may want to halt. Someone just find, I'm telling you, someone just find out how gifted someone else is and they are living in regret. They're like, what? I didn't know he was gifted. I didn't know he had spiritual gifts. Someone is aware of who you are, Starcy. They know you may be a high priestess. You may not do any work on social media, but somehow they know you're gifted because every time they take action against you, it comes right back to them. It's like someone is sending you energy and the energy is automatically going right back to them. They say, well, how, how is this happening? This person don't know nothing about magic. And then they go to a reader and the reader tell them, oh, you effed up royally. Do not, and I repeat, do not send anything else to that person. And I'm not taking any money from you to send any energy to that person. That reader is terrified. That practitioner is like, mm -mm, mm -mm. no, my side, my side, please. I don't want no parts of this. That, 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 that practitioner is probably like, Lord, source, I just want you to know I had no parts in it. I told them I was not participating because that practitioner already knows your energy is not one they want to be messing with. It is absolutely not. It's dangerous. There's, I'm telling you, it's dangerous. There's karma for it. It's that instantaneous karma and it's, it's detrimental to their future and their health. Like people come after you they're falling sick, getting in car accidents, losing loved ones, losing their favorite pets, losing their jobs, hot homes, marriages. It's like, mm, mm. they don't even want to mention your name or even think of your name. Like thinking of you negatively is very expensive. It's expensive. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Okay. Absolutely dangerous. You you have a car mate probably sitting somewhere. I don't know if you all can see me. Do you all know that video of Beyonce sitting at the basketball game where she's rocking back and forth high as heck, allegedly? Anyway, high as heck, just rocking back and forth, all zoomed out and stuff. Yeah, that's how that karmic is. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm 
just uh, shaking and everything. Someone shakes their legs a lot. I'm telling you, they're sitting. <laughs> Someone shakes their legs a lot. Someone throws a lot of fit behind the scenes because things are not going their way, because things are going your way, Starcy. So it, it, it's not looking good for them. It's just not looking good. They're like, what? What is it? Who is this person? I've been in this person's energy. They don't give me the vibe of a high priestess. What's going on? And they're just looking at, what do you mean the vibe of a high priestess? Just because someone look young and innocent don't mean they don't know anything about magic or spirituality. Just because someone looks old and fragile does not mean they don't know about magic and spirituality. What the heck do you mean the vibe? It's not about a vibe. You know, when people don't know really what they're talking about, that's when they start using those sophisticated terms, vibes, moves, and things like that, How, whatever. It's not about none of that. Someone effed up and found out real bad that they picked on the wrong energy. There could be legal proceedings going on behind the scenes for some of you that you are not aware of, or there's just something being made right, something is being balanced. What's yours is being returned to yours because some of these people are not doing too well. Not doing too well. They're trying to recover, but it does not seem like they're going to be recovering. Okay. They, some of these people have a plan to take you to court so you can get pulled out of your homes, lose your stability because they feel like once they take all of that away from you, then it means that they've destroyed you, but uh, they've defeated you. But remember... Uh, source always has something better for you, Star C. They take one away, and Source gives you what? Many, many more. It's that, oh, yeah, we actually wanted this Star C to have this initially, but you know, they got comfortable in that house, that apartment, that duplex, and we just kind of let them stay there because you know, they kept telling us, Thank you, thank you for this, how much they love the place, and things like that. So we didn't try to push anything, but we, we want to thank you for taking it away from them. Now we can put them where we where we really wanted this star seed to be, living in this abundance, in this castle, in this mansion. So thank you for helping us, okay? And they are in sorrows. Someone knows that what belongs to you is about to be returned to you and it is killing them. They said, I've done everything to hide this. I don't want them to receive their inheritance. That's because someone here, as soon as you start see receive what's yours, they are losing everything because everything they had was yours. They stole from you. Someone has been walking around acting like a big shot and no one knew that they stole from someone else. Nobody knew. They said, nobody knows the sorrows I've seen. And then they walk out in public all happy. This could be an occultist. This could be someone with a lot of toxic behaviors. This could just be someone that's just cray cray. I've seen this 10 of pentacles card show up a couple of times. This could have to do with some type of abundance, some type of position, some type of payout, something like that, or some type of business offer. But you best believe everything is going to be happening in divine timing. Mm-hmm. Someone thinks they can still defeat you, Queen of Cups. I'm telling you, these karmic never learn. There's a lot of money on the line, so they're going to keep trying to come for you. They're going to do everything, and they redo everything. And they redo everything, and they're going to keep going. At this point, they've pulled out all their tricks in the bag. It didn't work, so they're going to start all over with the old tricks and work their way down again. And you're just going to be sitting back and watching them, looking at Looking at them like this. Oh, Lord, look at these fools. I need a snack. Let me go get my popcorn so I don't miss a thing. Let me make sure I use the bathroom. And then when I come back, I can go back to watching these people. Let me get a camera so I can record because I don't want to miss anything. Look at these fools. Look, 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 look. He did this a week ago. He's going to do it again. He just did this two days ago and he's going to do it again. Look, look at her. She just says the same thing over and over. Yeah, good, good luck. While you're busy minding your business, Queen of Cups, your enemies, they're coming towards you. 
with that fake offer. They think they can they can confuse you. They think they can uh, manipulate you. Say hey, <laughs> but they're gonna be disappointed. It's not going like they planned. <laughs> I'm telling you, source is already ahead of them. Source is already ahead of them. They say hey. I would just want you to let you know I have always had love for you. Like I'm really in love with you. They don't they, they won't even know how to tell the lie with a straight face. Like karmics are really good at lying to other karmics and other people that are not awakened. But when it comes to the rest of us, it's a uh-huh. Sure. You want to tell me you spent umpteenth years planning and this is the lie you came here to tell me? Okay. So I'm just gonna play along with you. You, oh, you want to take me out to eat? Sure. Where do you want to take me? Oh, you can choose. Okay, let's go to Red Lobster. Okay, so I can order anything I want off the menu? Uh-huh. Sure. What do I, I want the biggest lobster. And you eat all you want, Starcy. And now, you know, they think you and them are about to be in a relationship. I was just wondering if you can be my girlfriend. Oh, no, I'm not really, like, feeling like dating right now, you know? Thank you for the food and, you know, everything else. I understand if you don't want to give me a ride back home. First of all, collector, you better not. Tell them you'll meet them at the destination. Thank you for the food, the drinks, the good, converse, good conversation. But I think this is it. We can be friends and talk every once in a while if you would like. But as far as a relationship, I'm not available right now. Okay? And keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. Someone still thinks they can defeat you. Even though, literally, I'm telling you, I knew this Ten of Pentacles was going to come out. Literally, if you put something in front, of, in, front of, in front of this person or these people and told them, if you, make plan, if you use plan A, if you take plan A, it's not going to work. This is what's going to happen. If you do plan B, this is what's going to happen. If you do plan C, this is what's going to happen. You're not going to win. You're not going to win. You're not going to win. You know what they're going to do? They're still going to try it. They may even combine A, B, C together because they think that's going to improve their chances of winning. It's this, it's like the dark workers when they go to a practitioner to send energy to someone and it doesn't work. They say, well, do it again. It doesn't work. Do it again. They think doing it repeatedly it's going to make it worse. It's going to have some type of effect. And the whole time, collective, you're either sleeping, getting yourself a good night's sleep. Your soul is traveling the world and going back to the spirit realm to hang out with family members in the spirit realm or learn something new, have some type of meeting with counsel, something of that nature. You're getting yourself a good night's sleep. While you're sleeping, your soul is gone. Your ancestors are watching over you, making sure you're protected. And the whole time... They're sending energy and sending energy and sending energy. And they don't understand why it's not working. My dear, it's not meant to work. It's for entertainment purposes when it comes from you. Because you're too low vibrational. You're sending energy to someone that is above your pay grade. Humble thyself. Humble thyself before the source. And it will raise you up. Okay? All you have to do is humble yourself before the sword and it will raise you up it will raise you up it will raise you up hey come here don't think that way they don't they don't it's something i've never understood they don't like our humble nature and then they don't like when we're confident as well it's that pick one you want me to be what Low vibration, you want me to have low self-esteem or you want me to have high self-esteem because there's no in-between with us. We are either down and out or we are above the cloud, up on the clouds, floating away. And they don't like either. They want us to feel wah, 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 like the rest of them. You know that they're low vibration. If you are low vibrational, they like you. When you're high vibrational, they don't like you. They don't have a problem with your men and women being around low vibrational energy, but the second you come in, it's a problem. Uh-uh. Who are you? What are you doing here? Uh-uh. You've been here for too long. Why are you talking to my man? Honey, I don't got time for your man because I can tell you more about your man than you can. You obviously know about your man because if you've been with him for this long, honey, 
bless your heart. And maybe you two are the same. But this energy right here, karmic. Not, not, not my type. You got nothing to worry about. I promise you. Okay? I promise you. I remember I had a friend before. It, don't ever make a mistake and be friends with a, with a married couple if you're single. I used to go to church with these people. Honey, I saw her husband as a brother. I saw her as a sister. That was it. How I'm set up, if you ain't single, you're not my type. I don't care if you are friends. You've been friends for 20 years, honey. If it's a feminine energy, I don't trust it. I'm not forcing nothing with you. You and I are friends as well. Nothing else, nothing less. I was friends with these this couple before. They were married. And at the time, you know, this is before I was healed. You know, and I'm all, you know, naive. I'm thinking, oh, yeah, this is my brother. This is my sister. Only to find out that they had some issues going, infidelity issues going on in their marriage, which I never involved myself in because that's none of my business. Honey, I wasn't married. I didn't know nothing about marri marital advice. I don't give marital advice because I'm not married, right? So I'm, you know, walking from, I think, picking my kids up one day and I see him sitting in a car with another woman. I'm like, oh, Lord, I'm not getting involved in that. I said, hey, do I know you? He said, no. I said, oh, okay. I kept it pushy, never said anything because at some point I had picked up on her vibe that she was one of those people. If you said something to her, she would think you were trying to split up her relationship or something like that. I said, honey, I ain't getting into this. I'm a single young woman trying to take care of two kids, barely making ends meet. Uh -uh. I have enough problems to worry about. So this lady and I were friends for a long time. I think maybe like five years or something like that. We need to find out. She thought something was going on between her husband and I. And I'm like, mm, what in the world did I ever do to make you think that something was going on between me and your public property? Anyway, she comes to my house one day and I'm doing her daughter hair because I used to do her daughter hair. She would babysit my kids. I would babysit her daughter. They will give us ride to a uh, church and drop my kids off to school. I had stamps at the time, so I would give them stamps um, monthly. So just to kind of compensate them for what they were doing, because sometimes when people, certain people do things for you, you know they're not really doing it out of the kindness of their heart. So you you know you compensate in some way, shape, or form. So one day she brings her daughter to my house where she's doing my I'm doing her daughter's hair, and she tells me, oh, and her husband's name is not John, but I'm gonna use John. She said, oh, you know, I told John he must love coming to your house because he loves young girls. I'm there. When did John come to my house? Because John don't be at my house unless you know John is coming here or you're here. John ain't welcome to my house. But I didn't stay there. I just looked at her. I played it off. I'm there. Okay. Maybe she's having a hard day. I'm going to let it go. I'm going to play it off like I don't know. So we go on with a conversation because I've changed the topic at this point because you're making me feel uncomfortable. I changed the topic and somehow she maneuvered her way back to that again. I, I, I instantly cut it up. I said, let me finish this baby hair so I can get you up out of my house. Because if this is what you think has been going on for the past five years, you and I do not need to be, to be around each other. And after that day, when I tell you I distance myself, I distance myself. Because what the heck do you mean John must like coming to my house because I'm a... Excuse me? What does that got to do with me? What does that got to do with me? You and John. Whatever you and John have going on, you know John likes young girls. That's between you and John. That, I might be young. That don't mean I'm John's type or John is my type. I may be John's type, but he ain't my type. I like... Uh, 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 what, what do they call it? I like private property. Let's put it that way. All this public stuff. Uh-uh. Wondering where your partner is, who he's talking to. No, I'm good. I don't share. I don't do well with sharing. And every ex I've ever dated can tell you that I don't do well with sharing. It's not in my blood. I can share my money with you. I can share my car with you, my house with you, my food with you. I can share laughter with you, but once it comes to laying down with a uh-uh, that's what we uh-uh, that's what we cut it off. Uh-uh, we need to cut it. That's just too personal and nasty. We need to cut it. Okay. 
That vibe is too low vibration and we need to cut it. Cut it. Okay? Because that's me. Once you start rubbing me the wrong way, mm -mm, this friendship is over. This relationship is over. Because I think you should know me well enough to know I will never scoop that low. And if you don't know me well enough after five years, we don't need to be friends. You're bugging. You're BSing. Absolutely BSing. And we ain't. I'm telling you, I walked away like. <laughs> moved away didn't give them my address my phone number nothing didn't call didn't text nothing i said mm, i'm out you're making me feel uncomfortable anyways let's get back to this reading that was the story for me but that's how karmics be working if you're low vibrational they're okay with your men being around you but if you're not low vibrational you're in this energy oh it's a problem it's a problem honey Darling, it's a problem. It's not because you did anything. It's just because of your energy. Your energy is genuine. So it's a problem. They want you to be low vibrational and manipulative. And you don't have time for that or them. Okay? Queen of Cups, back to your reading. Sorry, that was like the, a short advertisement, something like that. Anyways, back to your reading. Your abundance is coming into you. Your, your enemies are bugging. They're losing their, their mind and things like that over that. You could be getting abundance and love as well. Honey, success, networking opportunities with new people. Like, it's just in divine timing that this is coming to you. So whatever people are doing behind the scenes to act like you're not going to get what's yours, you best believe you will. In due time, in divine timing, things are being worked out in your favor because the truth is being revealed about your character, who you are. People have told too many lies. Someone, someone is very committed to keeping some type of story going because of the lies they've told and because of how much money is on the line. Okay, someone's ego is bruised permanently. Like their ego is so bruised it cannot be healed. This is you, and this person was painting. Honey, this is you. You should see that Empress Queen of Cups Star C. Empress, Darcy, Queen of Cups, you're abundant. You have abundance attached to your name. People don't want you to receive it, and you will. You're going to have to sit down. <laughs> I'm telling you, Lord, these people don't have nothing good coming for them, do they? These towers, this, this tower card just keep coming, and I'm here struggling with my cards again. Anyways, things are being balanced out. Absolutely balance out. Whoever's coming to worship could be from the past. They want to come in and say, hey, hey, I effed up really bad. I was hoping we could get back together. But you know they're not going to say it that way. They're going to come in trying to do you favors that you don't need. Trying to have conversations with you that you're not interested in. You don't move on with your life. You don't even speak the same language as this person anymore. You vibrate on a whole different frequency and they're trying to talk to you about something that happened 10 years ago and you're like, um, okay, I don't even know anything about that. I don't remember. Uh, is this conversation over? Because I don't remember. I feel useless in this conversation because I really don't remember what happened. But anyways, yeah, you don't remember collective. It's unknown to you. That's something that's in the past. <laughs> you left it in the past. You're like, I don't remember what are you talking about i did what now you did what um you 15 years ago oh okay a for you get an a for your memory how about that does that count is that good enough i'm participating in the conversation yeah uh-uh and they're still doing magic. <laughs> yes. Oh. Push. Nothing. <sighs> Abracadabra. You will go to sleep. You will not wake up tomorrow. You will not receive this blessing. It's like I'm still in this energy. <laughs> I'm still in this energy. What else do you have to throw at me? Because at this point, I'm immune. 
you know, when you first started, maybe I had a little, it had a little effect on me, but now it's just like, it's bouncing enough. It's that push right back, push, right back. Yeah, heartbroken. Their magic is not working. All of their efforts are not working. You're still receiving what's yours. It's not working. Someone may have wanted to come in to propose to you. It's like you haven't seen them, seen them in umpteenth year. All of the, all of a second, they're coming in to make some type of love proposal. Is that um, you definitely have to have some type of mental illness if you think you and I are gonna be getting married or even getting back together. Okay, someone is not moving forward. Whatever victory they thought they were gonna have is not happening. It's a no no from source. Source is not protecting this person, not working with this person. Someone does not even have control of their own destiny or their own path because of the actions they took. Some There are people in here that have destroyed other lives and you were the cherry on top of the milkshake. You were the cherry. You were the feather that broke the camel's back. It's like they've done this mess to a whole lot of other people. And then they came across you and you look innocent, you look naive, you look easy to bully, you look alone. And they said, oh, I found the best specimen for us to use. I found the best one of all. I know I said Keisha was a good one the last time. I know I said Mariah was top notch, but this one right here? This one right here, she knocks all of them out of the park. That should have been your warning. That should have been the warning sign not to proceed or to proceed with caution. This one right here, when you saw this one right here, you should have proceeded with caution. You didn't, oh, honey, I was just going to say, you didn't know this one was a warrior. You saw this one looking feeble, but you didn't know this is the energy that they're in. They said, oh, you thought you were, you were going to come bully me and I was just going to sit back and let you bully me? Oh, okay. That's real cute. That's real cute. You thought you were about to steal from my uh, 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 bloodline, my lineage, and we were just going to sit back and be like, oh, my gosh, this occultist won't leave us alone. Whatever shall we do? Oh, help us, source. Lord, honey. Like this group, this group keeps coming after us. We feel so helpless and just so feeble. Help us, Source. I mean, some of us, our ancestors are goons. They move like goons. They don't care because Source knows. <laughs> the universe knows about certain ancestors. They say, ah, stay out of their way, okay? They don't mess with anyone, but you mess with them. You are just as doomed like don't pick fights with them just leave them alone we don't have to worry about them if nobody messes with them that's how some of you ancestors are and like mm -mm. like when you when you're when certain people go to mess with certain energy is that mm -mm. it's like like it's like their ancestors are around them trying to warn it warn them mm -mm. Mm -mm. no don't touch him don't touch her don't mess with her Listen! Stop it! Grinning their teeth and everything, trying to warn their loved ones to stay away from you because they don't want the smoke because their ancestors know there is nothing they can do to protect them from your ancestors. They're telling them to move on. <laughs> move on. Carry on. Carry on. This collaboration is over. Carry on, carry on. Yeah, some of these ancestors out here, they don't they don't play, I'm telling you. And they have clearance to do what they want because the spirit realm know they don't pick fights, but they will finish fights. They say you want to mess with one of ours? That's okay. Come on. Obviously, you think you can you can handle us. We are going to wreck your life. We love Russian roulette. They're out here playing these people like puppets. Boom, 
just like having a mix. Just like having a ball with them. And meanwhile, collective, you're having yourself a good night's sleep. It's like, oh, you wake up the next day, you don't even know what happened. You're just moving on with life. Meanwhile, your ancestors have been tearing their behind up. You go to work the next day. They don't even want to be around you. They can't look you in the face. They're embarrassed because they know <laughs> they went to bed with a million dollars in their bank account and they woke up with $5. Their ancestors said, I know where to hit you. You're greedy. So we know where to hit you. Okay. Oh, those, all that money you had, we knew. We were sitting back and watching you and we knew just where to hit you. But you don't have that money anymore. So <laughs> the the plan has been even out. Now it's a fair fight. Okay. You had resources to make connections, pay people behind the scenes to do your dirty deeds. No more money for you. Some ancestors, I'm telling you, are dangerous out here. Yeah, yeah, you all better be careful who you're messing with. If you see someone in this energy and they're minding their business, focusing on what matters to them, not paying you no mind, not picking a fight with you, staying in like a genuine energy, right? Focusing on love. Just because their energy bothers you does not mean you can go and mess with them. That means leave them alone. These are people that are in direct connection with Source. These are people with gifts to manifest not just in their life, but in yours. They can manifest what they want in your life, okay? So if you manage to piss them off and they see it, they manifest a car accident in your life, you best believe you may not be recovering from that. But they try very hard not to even use those kind of abilities in malicious ways, in dark ways. So you better be careful, these ancestors. They'll tell them, hey, we know you're not about all that dark stuff. That's okay. We'll take care of it. <laughs> That's okay. You sit there and you worry about your love and lights. And you worry about your Prince Charming coming. You worry about your dreams. We love that for you. Thank you for doing that for the lineage. We'll take care of these heifers for you. And they come in and start putting in that work. Ooh, it is like, ooh. They're having some type of like relief. It's like, oh. Mommy, we haven't had this much fun in like 10,000 years. We should do this again later today. Who do you want to go for? And mommy said, you know what? I'll take John. And <laughs> Melissa says, I will take, who do I want to take? I will take Corey. Who do you want to take, Lydia? Lydia said, I am going for the head, not the tail. You all can keep playing with the tail. I'm going for the head. Mm -mm -mm. And they start working them. Working them. <laughs> Work. <laughs> and they don't know where it's coming from, but it's your ancestors. I'm telling you. It's your ancestors working these people. Excuse me. My cars are having a moment. Yeah working them mm -hmm. yeah this king of pentacles better stay where he's at because this is what's in your future sir you're paying people to come cause some type of ending for someone else and this is what's ahead of you stay where you are stay i'm telling you you're going to be disappointed stay where you are all these malicious plans you have going out bribing people Paying people behind the scenes to sneak someone is only going to lead to your end. It's not going to be leading to any star seeds and you have better, better stay where you are. It does not make sense for people to be this committed. It's like, Elizabeth, who do you want to go for today? I'm going to go for Kita. She looks like she's a lot of fun. I want to have fun with her. I like fun, too. I like fun. They thought they were going to destroy you, Empress, but uh-uh. It's not happening. Someone in here is some type of Empress, someone's mother. 
someone's wife, girlfriend, baby mama, whoever it is, she's going through an ending. They thought they were going to come in and break your heart. Like, look, he chose me over you. And you're just like, oh, okay. I didn't know that was like a reward or something for, I don't know. He, I didn't know he was a reward for something. I didn't know I was supposed to care. I'm really trying to care. I'm trying to find a caring bone in my body and it's just not vibrating. I can't feel it. Give me time. You know what? Give me one second. Let me ponder on it. Let me manifest it into being. Mm, it's not working. It's not working. I'm too focused on my pentacles. I'm too focused on what matters to me. Right? I'm too focused on solid offers in life. I'm too focused on what matters to me. I don't care what's going on in your life. Who chose you over me? Who didn't choose you over me? Because at the end of the day, I know they're already missing out. They made the wrong choice. And that alone, knowing that alone, lets me sleep well at night. Okay? But honey, your enemies are going through a tough time. And your ancestors don't care. They're out here have playing Russian roulettes with people's stability, their luxury, their freedom. You say, hey, dun, 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 dun. you go to jail, dun, 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 dun. prison, dun, 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 dun. lose your house, dun, 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 dun. lose your marriage, dun, 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 dun. you're sick, dun, dun, dun. Just, a, just a, oh my lord, just a bunch of savages. And these people want you to feel sorry for them. And your ancestors are like, oh, no. What is sorry? Can you spell sorry? What is sorry? Do you know what that is? Did you feel sorry when you were coming for our child? No. Mm -hmm. We don't know what sorry is either. You want mercy, but you didn't extend mercy. Mm -hmm. That's not how that works. No. No, 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 no. Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Empress, you know what, Star Sea Collective, you know what I mean. Showing up in all these beautiful energies, okay? You're going to be receiving a solid offer from who you're supposed to receive it from in divine timing. You don't have to pull any tricks, bend over backwards, just be you. Someone admires the energy you have. You're someone very courageous with a lot of tenacity. Someone forward moving with forward thinking. You're very innovative. Just, just a powerhouse. And these people are intimidated by you, by the way. This is why they're going out of their way to cause you endings. Trying to betray you, but still cannot. There is absolutely a mother and a daughter working together. And things are not in your favor. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get clarity on these people. You're paying people behind the scenes to steal from someone. And it's not going to work. It's absolutely not going to work. There's a mother and daughter working together. They want some masculine to give the daughter a brand new passionate beginning or to reignite things with her. And they're not going to be succeeding because this masculine is taking his offer somewhere else. Away from either this empress or this queen of pentacles. I'm absolutely going to get clarity on this. I'm telling you, it's a tower. He's taking his offer somewhere else. It's a fall from grace for these two. They cannot manipulate anymore. This man's wish fulfillment is somewhere else. He's not wishing on a star to be with you. He's not wishing on a star to carry him far with you. This brother is wishing on a star to carry him far, far away from you. Because you're toxic as can be. Absolutely. All right, source, what is your advice to us today? What would you like us to be aware of? Okay, well, we had two today. We have two today. Excuse me while I sip a little bit of my coffee. Okay. And thank you all for watching as always. You are so appreciated. Thank you. So we have five five. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Okay? Show love to the channel. Don't be shy. We don't do shyness around here. We're obnoxious and it's okay. 
This is me living my authenticity and I, if I can live in this, you can live in yours too. Come on the board. Be weird with the rest of us. Be quirky and stoic and whatever you are, we love it over here. Okay, we're not judging you. And if you learn one or two things from us and you want to take it somewhere else and share it with people, be our guest. I do know that there's someone that watches me and steals my content. By the way, I'm a small content creator, but I know what you're doing. By the way, it was shown to me in a dream. I saw you. <laughs> I saw you, my darling. But anyways, hopefully it's helping you heal, but I doubt it because you're not built that way. Anyways, we have five, five. We have 10, right? Completion. Something is absolutely over. Uh, substantial change is in your future. Embrace the change, a need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. Oh, we needed that today. We had needed that today. Thank you. I am evolving. We're all evolving. It's not something to be ashamed of. This is part of life. This is the mindset we're supposed to have. It's to understand that at the end of the day, everyone is evolving in some way, shape, or form in different departments in life. Some of us are evolving. Maybe it's our mindset. We're coming from a religious background, and now we're doing tarot. That's evolving. Some of, some people are evolving from, you know, maybe not being so respectful of themselves and they're learning to be that. Some people are evolving as far as learning to speak up for themselves and things like that. We're all evolving in some way and it's not something to be ashamed of. It's something you should be proud of that you are trying to be a better version of you than what you were yesterday. The only person you should be in competition with is the person that you were yesterday, that you are striving to be better than that person. Anyone else is irrelevant. I don't mean like they don't matter, but you shouldn't be competing with them, okay? So 20, would you notice we have one and two. And when you add them together, three, celebration. Listen, listen, listen. Linda, Linda, listen, Linda, Linda. When we go to grandma's house, listen, it's a ball over there at grandma's house. <laughs> Anyways, two, we have 20 and it goes down to two, which has to do with usually unions, collaborations, soul twins, uh, connections and things like that, right? Success together. Um, you relate to others on an almost cosmic level. You are dedicated to building harmonious relationships of all kinds. You have the ability to persuade others to your point of view by using gentle means. I am harmonious. I think I read this before and I love that, okay? It reminds us to be gentle, to be kind, to not be destructive, but you know, sometimes even if you relapse and you have your moments as we all do some of us have it behind closed doors hi me uh we have ours behind closed doors but if it happen happens in public it's not the end of the world don't be like hard on yourself because you uh had a moment a human moment you're on a spiritual journey to heal and you relapse or something it's okay just pick yourself back up and keep moving because that's what Every single person you see that's telling you that they're healed, the ones that are genuinely healed, they went through the same thing. Because the journey, that's how it is. It fluctuates until you get to a point where it's strict, okay? But every single person you see that you listen to, you watch, they've had those moments where they just let it loose. They let it rip, either in public or in private, because they just couldn't hold it in anymore, okay? And I can attest to that. Like I said, I'm not here to judge anyone. I'm just here to tell you the truth, give you my opinion, and you can do what you will with it. That is up to you. But thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. I appreciate your support. And goodbye for now.